Hello fellow rock tumblers. Look what just came out of final polish. These are a bunch of, well, mostly petrified wood, but some other cool stones that I was polishing with a bunch of my other stones that I've been making into videos. So these are sort of like filler rocks, but even the fact that they're just filler rocks doesn't mean they're not interesting. So let's take a look at some of these nicer ones. Check out this agate as an example. This is pretty. Look at that little bit of quartz window right there. Nice tumble, nearly flawless. It might be, in fact, I haven't looked at it closely, but that may be a perfect tumble. And here's a gorgeous piece of petrified wood. Notice some of the color in that. Isn't that pretty? Wow, almost looks like fire. That's beautiful. This looks like some little piece of jasper. Beautiful coloring in that. What do you think? Nice tumble, good polish. Overall, I'm very happy with this one. So much of what's in this batch is this petrified wood, which I actually started using as filler material for my other tumbling projects. What's great about that is when you take it through the entire cycle, you end up with these beautiful polished pieces of petrified wood. This one I really like because of this little tiny, you can just see a little chalcedony section right there at the end. I think that's just beautiful. I find a lot of this stuff just hiking around Central Texas, small pieces like this, and they do make great filler material. This one has to be a piece of the waggle stone. I made a video where I took a piece of waggle stone and slabbed it and made a cabochon. And I think this was just one of the bits left over. What an amazing pattern in there. What do you think? Isn't that cool? This looks like that mushroom rhyolite, I think. I made a video of this as well, slabbing and cabbing it. This was one of the chunks left over. Very pretty stuff. Look at that shade of, well, I don't know, violet, sort of a light purple. What would you call that? Of course, I must show this little piece of tiger's eye right here or tiger eye. I'm not sure if it's technically tiger's eye or tiger eye. <laughs> Either way, it's got that great chatoyancy in it. Oh, didn't have a perfect tumble there, but oh, that's okay. Still love the chatoyancy there. Now here's just a piece of picture jasper, a scrap from a slabbing I did, and it didn't take a mirror-like polish. It's more of a matte finish. In spite of that, though, I really think it's a good-looking rock. What do you think? And here's a little dark purplish-red agate. I think it took a probably a perfect tumble. I don't see any flaws. What a beauty. There are just so many cool pieces of wood in this batch. These little pieces that I picked up to fill my barrels. Look at some of the detail that come through when you get these things nicely polished. Wow. And here's another piece of wood with some beautiful red coloring in it. Check that out. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure what this rock is, but I like it. It's maybe a jasper? What do you think? It's got some cool color in it. And of course, another piece of petrified wood just to show some more of that color. Wow, that's a lot of red and orange. That's a beauty. I'm not sure what this one is. It, it could be agatized petrified wood, but I doubt it. I think it's something else. Some kind of agaty material, but hmm, not sure. Now, although this piece of wood didn't take a mirror-like shine, I still like it a lot. It shows a great grain pattern in there. See that? Isn't that cool? Yeah, speaking of cool grain pattern, look at this one. This little piece of wood here, especially on the end there. I like that a lot. That's super, super interesting. And here's an oddball little rock that didn't even take a great shine, but look at this other side here. I really like how this looks here. It's almost saginitic. What do you think? Isn't that interesting? Here's a little agate that got thrown in. I have no idea what type it is, but it is translucent. Took a great shine. Nice bluish color. Other than that, I don't know much more about this thing. Of course, it wouldn't be a Scott tumbling video unless it had some banded shirt in it. This stuff's very common. Pretty little piece here, took a good tumble and shine. And of course, here's another nice looking piece of petrified wood. Took a good tumble and shine. What do you think? I'm not sure what type of rock this is, but I do like it. You see it has that little bit of chalcedony in there. A little bit on both ends, actually. 
Some very fine striping going through it. Look at that. What a fun little rock. Here's a thin piece of petrified wood that I had tossed in. What I like about this, though, is this side. You can see it's got some agatization in there. I do like that. I'm not sure if this is a piece of petrified wood, but it's interesting looking. It's cool. It's got a nice shine. It might actually be a little agate. It looks like it could be somewhat translucent. And you can see something sort of stuck right in there in my finger. Right there, you can sort of see it. Don't know what that is. Okay, this is the last piece of petrified wood I'll show you, but this one took such a great polish, and I thought I had to show you this one. Isn't that beautiful? Nice tumble, nice polish. Wow, I like that a lot. Okay, let's end on this little agate right here. Can't tell you much about it. It was just thrown in with the rest of these rocks to act as filler for my other rock tumbling videos I've put together. Nice detail in it, though. Look at that, some banding. Shine's kind of screwing with me. I'm trying to show you as much as I can without that reflection getting in the way. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, look at that shade of red. Very nice. There you go. There's another batch of finished tumbled stones out of the vibratory tumbler. Like I said before, these were just really filler rocks to just top off the vibratory tumbler so that I could have all my other rocks going for the videos I make. I think they turned out pretty good. You know, for second class rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You're not second class. All rocks are equal. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.